Welcome. What I want to do is show you how to evaluate for theta when cosine of theta equals negative 4 over 5, where um, our theta is in the third quadrant. So what we need to do is, first of all, remember where the third quadrant is. So we have the first, the second, the third, and the fourth quadrant. So therefore, I know my theta is going to be in the third quadrant. And this is very important because when we have cosine of theta equals negative 4 over 5, there could be a multiple different way, not multiple different quadrants my, um, my angle could be in. So when looking at this, it just says cosine of theta equals negative 4 over 5. Remember, cosine of theta represents the opposite over the hypo I'm sorry, the adjacent over the opposite. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. The cosine of theta represents, in a triangle, the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. It also represents, when thinking about coordinate points, it represents the x value over the, um, over the hypotenuse. So therefore, what we could look at is we could create two different triangles, where here would be theta, or we could have a triangle where here's theta. Because what we notice is we could both say that negative 4 is your x value, and 5 is going to be our hypotenuse. So that's why it's very important when dealing with the constraint that we deal with the triangle that is given the constraint. Because usually what we did is we just found, you know, usually we would just create a standard triangle um, and we'd use the Pythagorean theorem this way. Well, now what we notice is in the third quadrant, my sine value is going to be negative. So I'm going to kind of raise this top triangle and realize that the only triangle, I'll kind of keep the quadrant here. The only triangle that we're going to be dealing with is going to be one where it's facing down. So therefore, whatever my y value is, I now know is going to be negative. So to evaluate for my y value, I have to use the Pythagorean theorem, which remember the Pythagorean theorem states your leg squared plus the other leg squared equals your hypotenuse squared. So therefore, we have a squared plus 16 equals 25. Subtract 16, and I get a squared equals 9. Square root a equals, now remember we'd always say like plus or minus 9, and in this case our y, I'm sorry, plus or minus 3. I guess I'll start off this video by making some mistakes. So therefore we're going to have negative 3. Make sure everything's on. Okay. So now once we have our full triangle in the correct quadrant, we need to evaluate our six trigonometric functions. So remember what we have is the sine of theta represents the sine of theta represents the opposite side over the hypotenuse, negative 3 over 5. The cosecant of theta, which is the reciprocal of the sine function, is just going to be the reciprocal, so therefore it would be 5 over negative 3. Then we take a look at the cosine of theta, which we represented as the adjacent side over the hypotenuse, so that would be negative 4 over 5. And the secant, which is the reciprocal of that function, is going to be now the hypotenuse over the adjacent side. And lastly, we're going to deal with the tangent function, which represents the opposite over the adjacent from theta. So my negatives are going to divide out. So therefore, I'll have a positive 3 fourths. And the cotangent of my angle is going to be a reciprocal of that, which will be 4 thirds. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you evaluate for theta when given a, uh, a point and a constraint in the, for the third quadrant. Thanks.